Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about this unit one test review. Uh, the answers are already posted online, the whole thing's filled in. So there's just a couple things that I wanna talk about on this. First off on this domain, remember domain always goes left to right. So make sure the numbers are in order. The other thing is domain is always X. So if you're doing this with multiple choice and you see answer choices for domain that are Y, cross them out, they're not correct. If you see answer choices for range along the same lines, if the answers for range don't have Y, they are wrong because range is always Y, domain is always X. And this one never stops going left or right. So X is all real numbers, okay? Uh, the range on this one though, we do have a lower limit of negative four. That goes on the left-hand side, it touches it, it's less than or equal to. I've had a lot of people say, well, I can see points. That doesn't make it discrete. So don't start listing those points. On number two, if it passes the vertical line test, it's a function, but be careful. This one has a point right here, so it won't pass because of that. This one won't pass because two places, and this one won't pass because it repeatedly has vertical lines. This one's gonna be the function. Don't worry too much about Y as a function of X. That just means, is it a function? Domain and range again, again, left to right, X is the domain, Y is the range. On this one with the basketball team, you can't have a partial member of a basketball team. Even if somebody's handicapped, they're not 0.75 of a person. We don't have those partial values, so this is discrete. My input is gonna be this one here, the number of shoes that I buy, because the cost depends on it. And the domain, because it's discrete, is a list of my possible values, the players on the team. It says we have between 10 and 15, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Expect a similar problem on the test. Number five, uh, the first mistake. Um, they're distributing here. We have a negative times a negative, it's a positive. A negative times a positive, it's a negative. So step one is okay. The next one's distributing this. A negative times a negative should be a positive. So step two is where that first mistake starts showing up. On number six, this is discrete again. So the domain is gonna be a list of those X values in order. 52, 72, 86, 105. And then the range is gonna be again a list in order. Three, four, five, six. It was trips. You can't take half a trip. You either went or you didn't go. Okay. Uh, moving on, which relationship is not a function? If our X's repeat, it's not a function. It's okay on this one that our Y's repeat. That doesn't bother anything. It's the X's that can't repeat. This one doesn't pass the vertical line test. The zero is the same thing. Remember, roots, zeros, solutions, x-intercepts, um, it's right here. It's a negative two for the zero. If seven is an element of the domain, domain is x, put seven in for x. Four times seven minus eight over five. Um, type it into the calculator, you should get the right answer. The value of m9, this is an input again. So nine squared, minus five times three plus 22. This would be 81 minus five, um, that's 76 times three. This is gonna be a really big number. Just type it in the calculator, get the correct answer. On number 11, it's missing the grid. It's discrete, so it's gonna be a list. Remember, you have the braces. Um, go for it like that. This one, again, it should be in the Google Classroom. Given that this, what is the value of G of negative four? Again, don't lose your signs. This is negative two times three minus a negative four. Don't forget it has to be minus a negative four. Type it in the calculator, it'll get it. Simplify means we're putting together like terms. Don't forget to treat this as a negative one and distribute. On the back side, domain and range. Domain is X, range is Y. My X intercept is where I cross the X axis. It's two and a half. My Y intercept is where I cross the Y axis, negative one. Um, which one is a function? We can't repeat the X's. This one doesn't repeat the X's. Uh, simplify, again, distribute, distribute. When you get a negative times a negative, it's a positive. There's gonna be a fraction here. Which table represents a function? We can't repeat the X. So you look for the one that doesn't repeat the X. It's gonna be here. 
and then which one's a function with all real numbers greater than or equal to zero? That's above zero. The range is the y, so this one's going up from zero. If you have questions, make sure you're checking in at tutorials. Make sure you check the completed one on the Google Classroom. Good luck on your test.